For today's project, we're going to do some sublimation, but we're not going to use a fancy press, and we're not going to use an iron. We are going to be using a griddle. This is an 8-inch griddle that is made for single-serving pancakes. I use this particular one all the time for doing shrink plastic. I do not use this for food. I want to really make sure that you guys do not use something like this for food. I do have a fan on and this is a very well ventilated area. For sublimation purposes, just like with other sublimating techniques, you're going to need some heat resistant gloves, some sublimation blanks, some butcher paper, some graphic of some type. This is actually a napkin that I copied onto my sublimation paper. Yes, you can. Wait until you see what, how it comes out. It's gorgeous. Also gonna need some scissors and just a little bit of time. So let's get started. The first one we're actually gonna make is similar to this one. This is actually a butterfly one that I did yesterday, but we're going to be doing a bookmark. Um, all of the sublimation blanks that I used today will be linked down below and there will be a coordinating blog post. So my griddle has preheated and we're going to go ahead and open its lid. As you can see, there's some butcher paper already here. I'm gonna lay it into place now this is kind of up to you it's not going to hurt anything i like to weight this down a little bit and we're going to run our timer for one and a half minutes while we're waiting for the first piece to supplement i'm going to take a coaster and you are going to be needing some heat resistant tape. I forgot to mention that earlier. Decide where you want your pattern to be and go on and put your coaster in that location. And just like with any other sublimation project, you're going to roughly cut out the shape. It's been over a minute and a half, so we're going to go ahead, we're going to take our coasters off first, because we use those to weight down things. We're going to take this off, I'm going to put it aside to cool, and I'm going to put this coaster into place, and put a couple of other coasters on top. This just helps to make up the difference for what normally would be about a medium pressure. We don't need any really extra pressure, but we're gonna let this one, from my experience, to go for two minutes. And while we're waiting on that one to do its thing, we're going to prepare another one. This is a car coaster. This goes in your drink holders in your car. This one's neoprene. This one is cool enough for us to handle, so we're gonna go on and pull the paper backing off. I mean, really? Seriously, who would have thought using a skillet, a griddle, would work this well for sublimation, but it really does, so We've got about 30 seconds left, so I'm going to go on and get my gloves on and ready to go. Move my bookmark out of the way. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and take this out of our sublimation griddle. I'm going to let that cool, and I'm going to put my little neoprene piece in. along with its weight, and we're gonna let this go for two minutes as well. When you take this off of your griddle, you are going to want to be patient enough to let it cool for a couple of minutes. So while this one is cooking, so to speak, this one is going to cool off. Now, I will say 
with my particular work surface, this is actually a cultured stone. So it is cool regardless, which is really nice, but it's also impervious to heat, which makes it safe. I always make sure that everything is well ventilated, that I have good lighting as well, as all of my supplies ready. The most important one is safety, so make sure you have your your gloves on and that uh, you're ready to go when you do this type of a project. There is our finished coaster. I know I'm impressed, I know you are. So the, here's the last one, which is our small car coaster. This is a photocopy basically onto sublimation paper. This is an old pillowcase that is vintage. I've had it for a very long time. And I think it's going to be beautiful sublimated. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just like with our last coaster, I'm gonna put that into place. And we're going to let this one set for another two minutes. All right, two minutes has elapsed and we're gonna go on and take this out. And it actually really came out well. It's not that I'm surprised, it's just that with the natural rippling of the fabric, when I copied this, I wasn't really sure how it would relate once it was printed, but as you can see, it came out really well. So this, doing a sublimation with a skillet, little pancake skillet maker, whatever you want to call it, is not only feasible, it's quite reasonable. This is such a great project. You can make a lot of small gifts if you are doing it last minute using this little pancake skillet. They come in bigger sizes, more expensive. You really don't need anything bigger unless you're gonna be doing clocks or something like that. Obviously, you couldn't sublimate something like a glass or a mug, it just, yeah. Anyway, so here you have it, some coasters a car coaster, neoprene, and some bookmarks. This also works really well with your other sublimation blanks like earrings and keychains and all of that good stuff. I hope that you'll give it a try, and if you do, let me know down below that you tried it and how your outcome was. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up and share my videos on your social media. Thanks for joining me, everyone. Stay happy. Be a blessing. Bye for now.